jar of sand. Conservation. For those of you that haven't been here before, my name is Jessica and I am a professional marine biologist that lives and works uh, on Maui in Hawaii. Uh, this intro is going to be a little bit short and sweet and that's because it is very windy. I'm on the north shore of Maui right now. I'm just off of Kahului Harbor which is directly behind me and because it is the north shore it is known for getting a lot of wind. The reason that I'm here today is unfortunate but I figured I would take you guys along anyway just so you guys can see the reality of what it's like living on a remote island in the middle of the Pacific not too far away from the Pacific garbage patch. Yeah I'm just gonna jump right into it and show you guys because there's really no way I can explain to you guys what this looks like. You just have to see it. So this is what Kahului Harbor looks like right now. Now these may look like pieces of sand but if you get in closer all of this is actually plastic. Little tiny bits of marine debris that have been washed up from out in the ocean. That's the mouth of the harbor right there. Right over there is the, uh, the location of our port for like big cruise ships and stuff. But the way that the, uh, the water flows in, we get uh, offshore winds and offshore swell that come against the north side of the island a lot. And then this is what happens. Unfortunately, we see the world's garbage on our beaches. That's a little sneak peek. You guys will get a chance to see more once Danny arrives. We're gonna do a little bit of filming uh, on the beach, just things that we can find, small things that are almost impossible to identify what they were originally. Um, and we're also gonna be doing some water samples as well. So we've got some glass jars coming that we're going to take scoops up from the sand and from the water. And you can see uh, how much plastic is in that sample. Hopefully you guys will get a chance to learn a little bit about marine debris and ocean plastics today and um, just get a good idea about what that really looks like. You can't pick up tiny microplastics, but you can pick up the larger pieces before they turn into microplastics. So before Danny gets here, I'm just going to kind of clean up what I can around the beach and uh, once Danny gets here, uh, we'll go ahead and get started. See you guys then. and I did a quick change because Rogue Wave got the best of my first outfit and we picked our sample site on the far west side of the beach. Even though the beach is regularly cleaned by volunteers, it was completely covered in trash. The ocean's constantly bringing in more rubbish every day. Then we pulled out the glass jars and got a better view of the microplastics. Uh, it can be really difficult to tell just how much rubbish is mixed in with the sand at first. So just like last year, we scooped up the sand from the tidal line and then we took it down to the water. 
This time we only filled the jar halfway, that way we could do the demonstration live and on the beach. By filling the jar with ocean water and swirling, you can separate the sand from the plastics because the sand is heavy and sinks to the bottom, while most plastics are very light and they'll float up to the surface. Obviously using a jar and hand rinsing the beach is not an effective or efficient way of cleaning a beach of its microplastics. But scientists and engineers have already taken this theory and they put it into practice on a larger scale. They've actually designed machines that use water to separate plastics from the beach sand just like this. Ultimately, we got distracted by the various food wrappers and drink wrappers that were floating by our legs while we were doing the glass jar demos. Uh, so we just stopped and uh, began collecting marine debris again, this time from the water. Unlike the microplastics from the beach, which were too small to identify, many of the wrappers we picked up from the ocean were still identifiable. We saw many popular brands and logos that were major contributors to the single-use plastic crisis. Filming at Kahului Beach is always a really bitter reminder of what humans are capable of doing to our oceans. Cleanups and demonstrations like this one are only tiny steps in reducing our overall impact. It's a lot like trying to mop up a flooded bathtub. The most important step isn't cleaning up the spilled water, it's turning off the tap. Simply choosing not to partake in single-use plastics can prevent it from ever getting the chance to end up in the ocean and landing on a beach thousands of miles away.